Remember that game that I poured my heart and soul into? Yeah, that one? I may or may not have changed absolutely everything. Let me explain. I was lying in bed one night and suddenly my mind's eye was opened and I reached a state of clairvoyance. I had an idea for my game. The problem was it required changing a lot, but I'm pretty set on this idea so the next morning I got to work. Basically you play as a little leaf creature whose village gets destroyed avatar style and you seek vengeance against the evil thorn creatures who destroyed your village. As a forest creature you can wield spells, so I want the inventory to be some kind of spell holding system. To implement these ideas, I had to tear out the guts of my game and replace them with newer, better guts. And so I got to work deleting all of my precious work and replacing it. And I'm really liking how it's turning out. Here's the little player dude in a beach scene that I made in a few hours. I think it's looking really nice. I decided to change how the tile map worked as well because the old way I did it was really tedious. Instead of the tiles fading to black, now the entire tile is a dark navy blue and it has rocks or dirt on the surface. That probably didn't make any sense and it's really hard to describe, but trust me, it looks a lot better. I also wanted to change the combat because it was boring and lame. Now you punch little magical clouds, which I really like. I made a little crab to teach you how the combat works, and he is just perfect. I will admit, I neglected to look at a reference for what a crab actually looks like, so he looks weirdly deformed. I kind of like it though. Then I got bored and I made a spider. Then I got to work making the new area, which is the village that was burned down. I made some wood and some brick things and added some smoke and boom, you've got a tragic crime scene. I also implemented a gate that I can open or close and it'll stay that way. I'll use that in the future for puzzles or something like that to spice up the game. I was also thinking I need to change the camera. It always seemed too zoomed in and you couldn't really see enough of the scene at once. I changed the resolution to a 16 to 9 ratio because that's how I make all my YouTube videos and I think it looks a bit better and you can see a lot more now. I also drew out a huge map for what I want the rest of the game to look like and I have a good idea for the first boss but I'm not going to spoil it quite yet. I'm really happy with all the progress I made, and even though I pretty much scrapped all of the NPCs and half of my world, I'm really liking where I'm going with this now. The next big thing I have to tackle before I add any new areas is the spell system. I'm not quite sure what I want it to look like yet, but that's definitely my next big task. Again, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you're enjoying the progress on the game. Also, we hit 2,000 subscribers the other day. I really appreciate it, and though I'm not usually obsessed with my sub count, I'm glad to see that new people are coming to the channel. Welcome, and I hope you enjoy my videos. I'll see you in the next one.